and welcome to Intern Insights. I'm Dr. Bruce Finkley, and I'm the Internship Coordinator for Mass Communication here at the University of Montevallo. Internships provide students with valuable real-world experience, and this show highlights where our students are interning and what they're learning there. So joining me on this episode is Sydney Young, who interned with WKRG over the summer. Sydney, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, thanks for having me, Dr. Finkley. So tell me a little bit about WKRG. So WKRG is, like you said, a station in Mobile, Alabama. They are a CBS affiliate. Um, they are one of the top, sh you know, stations in Mobile as well. They very lovely place. I loved it there. Great work environment. Great friendships made. So tell me, how did you discover this internship opportunity? So actually, I had spoke. Jink uh, O'Connell, the director there had spoken with one of our classes and he had said that they were looking at interns for the summer and I said well you know I'm from that area I'm gonna apply for an internship live at home so you have the benefit of this is kind of the hometown station you probably have seen those yes. anchors and those reporters so what was it like for you going into that newsroom and actually seeing them in person so I was lucky enough, I, one of the main anchors there, Devin Walsh, I knew her a couple of years prior to my internship, so I felt a little more comfortable with Devin. I knew her, so I wasn't as scared. Um, but it was really amazing to meet all these people. Roseanne Haven, I grew up watching Roseanne as a child. Um, I mean, it was just great to meet these people that I've seen on the TV and doing the same thing as them now. So tell me a little bit about what a typical day was like, because I think a lot of people you know, think that, oh, TV, you just turn the lights on, we talk to the camera, and it's an easy thing to do, but uh, we know that it's, it's a more complex thing. So what was it like on your average day as an intern? A uh, typical day. Uh, come in, you know, just chit-chat for a minute. Um, typically, they have a, so they'd have a morning meeting. I, unfortunately, was never there for the morning meetings, but, um, you know, come in, you go to your station, go wherever you're at for that day, producing digital content, maybe with a reporter, maybe working alongside an anchor. Um, just really learning what they do and asking questions. That was, and when I worked with digital content and producing, I was actually able to write stories for both the website and for the newscasts. And so those are things that you're able to have for your portfolio. Yes. That that's one of the great things about an internship is it's not just experience. It's also allowing you to put yourself in that professional environment and create those stories that then a future uh, hiring manager can look at and go, oh. Number one, she interned, which shows you've got drive, you've got ambition, you take this seriously enough to want to do it. Uh, and then we also see um, that it can be an important opportunity just to, to sharpen those skills that you're learning in the classroom. So talk a little bit about what are some of the things that you learned at KRG uh, that may be built on what you had learned in the classroom. Yeah, so um, working with producers, you know, I was able to learn, you know, not every anchor reads the same, at all, or they don't speak the same way either. Um, so you had, I learned how to write for the anchor, because nev every anchor is different. I would have an anchor that I wrote for, she would go in and change it, because that's not the way she spoke. And that's perfectly fine, because I want to learn for her. And the other anchor I wrote, she was fine. Um, for the digital content, I article writing is not my strong suit. So I learned a lot of great skills from the digital content manager, um, Tom there who, I mean, he taught me so many new skills that I can bring back here, that I can bring with me future-wise and to jobs as well. Um, it just, you learn so much in such a little time, depending on how far, when you go, that you don't even realize how much you're learning <laughs> until you're like using it later. Yeah, so now that you're back this semester, you have that internship experience under your belt. How has it changed your approach to your classwork? Um, I mean, I guess I, I shouldn't say I take it more seriously. I've always taken it very seriously, but I, I realize, you know, I'm at the end. I'm about to graduate. This is getting really, really real. And the I take with me their all of their advice that they've given me to like improve in my schoolwork. So then all I have, I, I'm continuing to improve is the only thing you can do, but just coming in and improving more than I was the last semester before I took my internship, improving every single time that I come into the classroom. So, Sydney, what would you give a future MassCom student who's wanting to intern at a TV station? What advice would you give them about that opportunity? Don't be afraid to ask questions at all. They love, they love ask, people asking questions. They want to teach you. I mean, that's the whole point of them having an internship at that station. They want you to learn. 
So don't be afraid to go up to somebody, hey, hey, can I work with you this week? I want to learn what you do. Hey, I'm not understanding. Can you help me? Can you teach me what you do? Can you give me a step-by-step -step of why you do it this way? Don't be afraid to ask questions. I mean, that's what they're there for. Yeah, and, and my experience, my professional background was in television news as well. I interned twice, uh, and one of those things was the interns that ask questions. Can I shadow you? Can I go out with you in the field? Uh, can I help you write this story? Versus the ones that just kind of sit there and wait for them to say, intern, would you like to write this story? Like, a huge difference there. So it's good to hear that you had uh, a positive experience. And Sydney's in my reporting class this semester. She's in our newscast class this semester, back as our executive producer. Uh, and I can personally say that I have seen just tremendous growth and in confidence and skills. So the internship definitely paid off. Big thank you to Jean Kirk Connell uh, yes. for being such a good friend of our program. Uh, and, and having you this summer. So if you want some more information about how to become uh, a, a, an intern as a mass comm major, you have to be a junior or senior. You have to have completed 15 hours in the major. Uh, you also have to have a 2.5 GPA. As, as far as registering, internship credit hours are variable. So you can do anywhere between one and six hours of credit and internship hours are offered in fall, spring and summer terms. For more information, you can always email me at bfinkley at montevallo.edu, or you can drop by my office here in Strong Hall anytime. You can also learn more about MassCom internships at montevallo.edu slash MC. Just click on internships. Well, that's all the time that we've got for today's episode of Intern Insights. Special thanks to Sydney for joining me and yes. talking about her experience. We'll see you again next time.